From camcorders to DVD players to cell phones, we all have old electronics that we don't know what to do with. In fact, it's estimated that the average American throws away 44 pounds of electronic waste each year. IT asset disposition facilities like Regency Technologies help prevent these electronics from going into the landfill. After electronics are received, the Regency team decides which items will be reused and which will be recycled. Just as you can see here, Paula has this machine that she's testing. We've opened it up, checked all the physical components. We run a video test on it, make sure that that works. And then we run it through our ERP system to grab all the information off of that machine to make the model, all the specs so it can be sold to our customer. All of the parts that need to be replaced are then repaired. Each one of these has a label that identifies the issue with it. And what we try to do is take multiple of the same laptop and try to convert it into one working item that we can sell back out on the market. For the last part of the refurbishment process, the products are packaged, sold, and shipped on the secondary market, proving that one person's trash is truly another person's treasure. If the electronic item can't be reused, it is recycled. First, it heads to the dismantling line to get separated into its bare commodities. As you can see, they're taking them apart by hand tools and separating them into their bare commodities. So plastic, steel, aluminum boards are being tossed onto the belt. And as you'll see at the end, somebody is sorting them into their various commodity boxes. Some commodities like batteries and mercury cannot be shredded. So they're packaged and sent to an approved downstream facility to be recycled. The other commodities are sorted by type and size before getting shredded. So the material's gone through the shredder. It's gone through a magnet that pulls out all ferrous metals. We're on to stage three of the process, which is the sizing process. The sizing happens by different size screens that separate into three different sizes before it goes into further separation. The commodities are separated into different categories, like non-ferrous metals and shredded boards. The finished commodities are shipped to a downstream vendor to be further recycled or reused. For example, shredded sample boards contain certain metals that can be extracted. What we're hoping to extract from these is gold, silver, palladium, platinum, among other metals. Uh, the goal here is that uh, mining, you get one ounce of gold for every ton of gold ore. So our, our process is to try to recover as much as we can through a sustainable way. Facilities like Regency will be increasingly important in tomorrow's world as more electronics continue to be manufactured, purchased, and disposed of.